Hello everyone, my name is Raven. Welcome to part two of my LEDWorks engine tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to take a very quick look at how to set up and create lights through the Lua scripting. Now before we get started, go on ahead and check the description for any information about this video, as well as download the source file. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to go to our script editor and I'm going to open up our first tutorial and I'm just going to copy everything over. I'm going to rename it to tutorial series 2 setting up lights in LEDWorks through Lua. And I'm going to save this as tutorial 2. Alright. And I'm just going to get rid of our Hello world text. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create a ground mesh and a cube because obviously we need something in our scene. So create cube, cube equals create cube. All right, now we need to set the position. So cube set position. It's a VEC3, and then X, Y, and Z. So we'll just uh, leave this cube actually at the default position. But what we will do is, instead of using set position, we use set scale. So vector 3 um, let's just double it. OK. So now we need a ground mesh for our cube to cast a shadow on because, well, shadows are awesome and all lights by default cast shadows inside of LEDWorks. So create ground mesh. We'll call this ground mesh equals create cube. Ground mesh set position vector 3. 0, negative 2, 0. All right. And now we're just going to scale it. 20, 0 0.1, 20. OK. So now we have created a cube and scaled it up to twice its normal size. And we created a ground mesh, which is 20 by 0 0.1 by 20. And we moved it down negative 2 on the Y. Now we need to move our camera. So camera set position, we need to move it back some away from the coordinate 0, 0. So vec 3, 0, 2, negative 10. All right. OK, so now we've done everything that we need to do inside of our scene to cast a shadow. Um, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and create some lights. So first light we're going to take a look at is a spotlight. So spotlight equals create spotlight. And we'll give it a range of 8. Note it will error if you were to leave this blank. You must specify a range. And spotlight set position effect 3. 0 to negative 2. We'll just move it back just a little bit. All right. So now we're going to run this. And if everything is correct, we should see a cube. And we forgot to rotate our spotlight, but that's OK. You can still see it's shining down. All right. All right. So. Spotlight set position, uh, sorry, set rotation. We'll do this as a VEC3, 45, 45 on the X and Y. And we will also adjust the position to over 2 on the X, and we will adjust the range by 10. All right, now we'll run this, and this time, our spotlight will be shining on our cube. 
There we go, that looks much better. All right, so now we have created a spotlight and we could use this to say, you know, create a script to a flashlight on a weapon. And it's very simple to do inside of Leadworks. All right, so I'm going to comment this out. Sorry about that. Okay, the next light we're going to talk about is we are going to create a point light. Point light casts a light in all directions around it. And note that if you have too many of these in your scene with a whole bunch of moving objects, they can be quite a performance hit, although. In most cases, you won't have actually that many point lights uh, in your scene. So, same as our spotlight, we need to specify a range and we will put our point light at the same position as our. Spotlight, two, two, negative two. All right, we don't have to assign a rotation because it casts in all directions in a 10 meter radius. So then we'll just hit F5. Oops, sorry, slight error. There is uh, no fourth value on a vector three. All right, so there we go, now we have a spotlight, or sorry, a point light in our scene. All right, now real quick, let's uh, make our cube rotate so it's a little bit more lively. So cube turned, vector three, I'm gonna set this to 0 0.5, should be rather quick. All right, as well. There's one more function that's quite useful. Um, when you're in the editor, uh, it's just a checkbox, which is quite useful. However, if you're doing everything through script or code, um, enable debug lights, which will allow you to see the distance um, how far your lights are casting and where they're at. And we'll just leave this on for the point light. All right, so now you can see our cube is spinning rather quickly. And this yellow outline is the range of the point light. And if we were to quickly go back and quickly comment this out. And run this, we could see the debug info for our spotlight. which is casting quite nicely on our spinning cube. All right, the last type of light we're gonna take a look at is a directional light, which casts light infinitely in whatever direction. So we're going to create a directional light equals create directional light Um, there we go. And this one has no parameters except uh, parent, but we'll talk about stuff like that in a later tutorial. Directional light set rotation, vector three, 45, 45, just like our spotlight. All right, now you don't have to uh, assign a position because this doesn't matter. The only thing that does matter is the rotation of it. All right, so now you can see our entire scene is fully lit and our cube is spinning and you can see it rather well. All right, 
so that concludes this tutorial and the next tutorial we're going to take a look at creating a camera. If you have any questions stop by the Leadworks forums and ask over there. The community is quite great. However, if you have any specific questions about this tutorial itself, please stop by my forums or the IRC as well. Go on ahead and follow me on Twitter if you like to keep up to date with what I'm doing. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you.